Eating soil is a favorite dish that cannot be missed every day. Soil has long become a specialty of the local people here. After digging up the soil, the locals carefully scrape and cut it into small pieces like biscuits. The soil can be eaten raw or smoked with fresh sim leaves. This is a rare and uncommon dish in Vietnam. Located just behind Lap Thach Town, Lap Thach District, Vinh Phuc Province, Vietnam, there is a village with a peculiar name, the Soil Eating Village, or the Specialty Eating Village. Although the younger generation in the village no longer commonly eats soil, for the older generations, it has been a familiar tradition for many generations. In fact, it has become an addictive habit. Soil is a snack gift, just like how people in other places eat candy. The tradition of eating soil here has been around for a long time, and no one remembers exactly when it started. It is only known that since they were born, the oldest people in the village have seen their fathers and grandfathers regularly eating and chewing on pieces of clay soil. The type of soil that people use for eating is not the ordinary soil for planting trees in the garden, but can only be found in the Lap Thach region. Previously, soil could be found on many mountains, but due to generations of exploitation, there is now only a very small amount left. To obtain the soil, one must dig a hole 3 to 7 meters deep until encountering white-colored soil like chalk, which is edible. When the soil is found, it must be chiseled into pieces one by one with a hammer and put into a basket to be handed to the person on the shore. The clay comes in two colors that can be eaten, white like a biscuit and green like lamb tea. According to experience, those with strong teeth can eat the green clay, while the elderly only eat the white clay. The green clay is chewier, but harder. After being extracted, the soil still contains impurities and particles, so it needs to be scraped and cleaned thoroughly, separated into small pieces like peanut candy. The clay can be eaten raw, but to have an appealing flavor, it needs to undergo a meticulous and elaborate processing stage. Users must pick fresh sim leaves, burn them, and then place the soil over the fire. The smoke will permeate into each piece of soil, making it more fragrant. Without this seasoning, the clay dish will lose its taste, fragrance, and uniqueness. When the piece of soil turns slightly yellow and has the smell of sim leaves, it can be enjoyed. Eating it will give a sensation similar to eating a piece of dried meat without feeling thirsty. In the past, not only the people in LPTHCH district but also many people from neighboring districts and provinces used to come and buy soil as gifts. In fact, about 20 to 30 years ago, edible soil was widely sold in the market, just like vegetables or meat.
So LPTHCH used to be a major supplier of edible soil to many localities within and outside the province. Nowadays, not many young people maintain the habit of eating soil. Only a few elderly people in the village consider clay soil as a favorite food that is indispensable in their daily lives. These elderly individuals share that the people in this area eat soil partly out of habit, and partly because they believe that consuming this type of soil is good for their health. Additionally, clay soil was once considered a conversation starter that brought people in the village together. Whenever they met or visited someone's house, the people in this area would offer each other a piece of clay soil instead of the usual beetle nut. Until now, the discoveries about the practice of eating soil and the impact of this food on the human body have not reached a definitive conclusion. And although it is no longer as common as before, the soil dish still remains an essential part of the meals for some families here.